Okay, now in this session we are going to learn two points here. On the left hand side I have point number one, how to modify an existing procedure. And point number two is how to put comments in any PLSQL code or in any PLSQL program which is either procedure or function or package or a trigger. We will focus only on procedures for the time being and we will do all other types later on which are functions, packages and triggers. So how to modify an existing procedure? Now here on the right hand side I am going to log out of SQL plus by typing the exit command. I am back on the Unix prompt so I can run any Unix commands now. Who am I as a Unix command? And I am in a uh, directory where I have created one file and here as you can see the file that was created is prog1.sql ls minus lrt command is going to show you all the files in your present working directory so prog1.sql is the file this file was created on May 31st uh, just it's 20 minutes after midnight right now that is the time when the file was last modified the size of the file is very small it is 76 bytes and it was created by user shaker so this is a lot of information about that file okay this is a lot of information about that file now uh, this is what I call as a source code you can see what is inside a file by typing the unix command cat prog1.sql so this is the source code of that file so if I want to modify an existing procedure, the very first thing that I need to have is the source code. You need to have the file which contains that source code. So I do have that file. Now with the help of that source code, I'm going to log on to again SQL plus. Uh, my uh, Oracle SID is uh, set to focus one and therefore I can log on to SQL plus. I'm going to type my user ID right there. Now password is here. And now I'm going to say edit prog1.sql. I'm editing that file. And now I want to change this to not just say hello, hello world. So now the only thing I have done is I have obtained the source code and modified it. And I'm going to save this file. And I'm going to recompile it by saying prog1.sql. Again, it keeps complaining that the name is already used by an existing object. So I have now one more choice. I can drop that procedure and recreate it. But now there is a better option there. And that option is here, create or replace. So instead of dropping the procedure and recreating it, we can just type the command create or replace procedure and the name of the procedure. And now this is equivalent to dropping and recreating the procedure. And I'm recompiling it now. Recompile compilation is done by what? By typing this at sign before the file name, which contains the source code. So I'm recompiling it now. This time it did not give me an error that the name is already used by an existing object. So the procedure is compiled. And now the step number three is execute the procedure. PROC1. Again, procedure has been successfully completed completed means executed but I still did not see hello world there and the reason you know I have not set the server output on after logging in this time server output on and now let me execute it rock one now I see hello world there this is how I modify an existing procedure I open the file in the or I, uh, I open the source code I do the modifications here, I save it and I recompile it. Every time you make changes in the source code, you have to recompile it. If you have not made any changes in the source code, don't recompile it. But if you have made changes, then recompile it. That is step number two and then execute it as per your needs. So this is point number one, how to modify an existing procedure. And then how to put comments in the PLSQL program, we'll see that in the next video.